<coughs> Viewer discretion advised. This video contains spoilers on a thing. Uh, yes, haha. -ha. Um, also, uh, uh, you know, this, this is my opinion on the game. I know this game, a lot of people really didn't like it, but uh, in the end, I did like it, and you'll see when I talk about the game and stuff. But yeah, just know there will be spoilers for those of you who still want to play. And that game is Paper Mario Sticker Star. Now, Paper Mario series is amazing. Um, it is one of my favorite series, well, Mario series. And, and I know a lot of people really didn't like it because, like, they were like, what the hell? Uh, it doesn't play anything like the other Paper Mario RPGs. Um, as this comic by um, Brawl and the Family author Matthew Toronto shows you, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. I still really liked Paper Mario Sticker Star because, um, well, it's a long story. Well, I might as well talk about that part real quick. So, I first bought the game um, over a year ago, like, um, what are, what am I right now? Right now, okay, so right now, it's, um, you know, January, and I'm in my sophomore year of college, and I bought this game in November in my first year of college, so, and I just finished it like a week or so ago, so yeah, as you can see, it took a long, it took me a long time to finish this game. Because I was dumb. I was very salty about um, what they did with Paper Mario Sticker Star. Um, you know, there are there are no partners like the other Paper Mario games. Um, the way that you fight, they still have action commands and stuff, but you need stickers. As again with this comic, because I really like it. Um, you know, you're out of stickers. You can't do shit anymore in the game. So you always have to have stickers, and then. Um, you can have like giant stickers and shiny stickers and you're like crap I don't want to use them because I might need them later and yeah whatever I don't know but um so the first time I played it I played through the first world and half of the second world and then I got really salty and I stopped playing the game I picked it up again about two weeks ago um I started playing it I took it for what it is and I had a lot of fun um this game as like I said, it's not as good as the other ones, but it's still good. It's really nothing to sleep on. Anyways, Paper Mario Sticker Star, pardon the shitty photo. Um, it starts off, you know, um, there's this, this festival, like the Sticker Fest, because the Comet Star, yay, is like, um, you know, it can grant wishes. So, like, you know, it shows up, and everybody's like, yeah, you know, celebrating, and then Bowser shows up, and he, like, um, steals the royal stickers right here and he like breaks the comet star because you know he was like not a pure heart and all that stuff and so he wasn't worthy of it so then um, you know Bowser makes everything go to hell takes the princess and everything and then after the chaos uh, Kirsty and like the little sticker you know her name is just like um, it really is just an amalgam of the word sticker. It's Kirsty. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I guess she's kind of like your partner, but she's more of like, she just informs you of things. She gives you info on areas, and you do this new thing called paperizing. I actually didn't get an image, but you can, you basically, um, like I said, the whole theme of this year of Mario is stickers. So when you paperize, you can like place stickers in the overworld and they have effects on the environment. Yeah. Anyways, on to the next part. So this is uh, the best photo of, a, of the world map that I can get from the internet. I don't have a 3DS capture card. I was honestly looking into getting one, but I didn't know that you had to mod your 3DS to do so. And it's a lot of money, so I don't know. So I have to find this photo online. And it only shows you worlds 4, 5, and 6. So, you know, you have World 4 is ice, 5 is like a jungle slash fire, and then 6 is like the ship plus Bowser's castle. Um, but over here, you know, World 1 is like your basic 
just grassy place with Goombas. World 2 is a desert, and then World 3 is a swamp, which is, which was, um, you know, a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, you know, the first boss is just a regular Goomba who has one of the world stickers, and he's the Mega Sparkle Goomba. And, um, things, like, in this game, let me go back to the photo, um, you'll have noticed this, it's like a fan, a sponge, scissors, um, you'll be able to find 3D objects in the game, the cat, and there's a, you can turn them into stickers, and you can use them to solve puzzles, get items, or beat bosses. Each of the bosses in the game has a specific weakness to one of the things, and which I will not state in this video. So yeah, if you use the things, the bosses are relatively easy, but if you don't, the boss fights can be really hard. But yeah, that's just the first one. You know, this this world was, was a lot more fun. So it's like a desert world, and a pokey got the sticker, and now he's like freaking huge. So you fight him, and yeah, that, I don't know, he, his fight was fun. But what I really liked about this, the, um, the last part of this world was this like Tower of Babylon kind of thing. Now, you know, that was... That was entertaining. Okay, also, um, you know, Bowser Jr. obviously makes an appearance. Kamek makes an appearance. Um, you know, Bowser Jr., he doesn't really do anything much in this game. He just, like, shows up, and at first he wants to steal your stickers, so you just, you know, fuck him up. And then Kamek, she turns all your stickers into sandals. See this sandal? And you, f you have to fight her with only sandals, so I don't know, it's funny. And then, um, she always like, does things in the overworld to screw you up. So, World 3 The Swamp is basically just you trying to get Wriggler's pieces back to put them back together. As well as find the pieces of um, these platforms that she removes to get the, the Comet Star pieces. So yeah, that's World 3. And the World 3 boss is really fun. This is like, like this Goober Blooper. Like it's his theme that's playing right now. Cause he's like a salsa fighter. I don't know. He's I don't know. I thought his fight was probably one of the best ones. Yeah. Anyways, um, another thing that happened in World 3 that I thought was really uh, fun is uh, they did a game show called Sniff It or Whip It with these sh gas mask shy guys, and it was like. Um, you have to like solve a puzzle before the poison gas kills you. I don't know, it was funny. I liked it a lot. Now, on to World 4. Now, World 4, um, honestly, the really, only, the, good, the really only good thing that I liked about World 4 was this level, the Enig Mansion. It's basically just a haunted mansion, kind of like Luigi's Mansion. And the caretaker, this toad, he's like, oh, Kamek showed up and released a bunch of booze. And you basically just gotta go play hide and seek and catch the booze. Um, I heard that there were a lot of problems with Mario and Luigi Paper Jam with finding the toads. And from what I've seen of that, this is nothing like it. Finding the booze is, is actually pretty fun. Um, and the Enig Mansion is a really cool like thing that they did with this game. Um, probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Actually, no, nah, it was my favorite part of the game. <laughs> the Enig Mansion, I don't know. It has, good, it has nice music too. And then the boss of the fourth world is a snowman. It's like, they do little little um, storybook panel thingies at the end of each boss fight. Where like, something happened with the real sticker. So it was just like a snowman who was like melting because of global warming. And then the sticker landed on him and he was like, yeah, now I'll never die. Oh yeah. So, world 5 has these jungle shy guys. And, um, I don't know, I wanted to put it in the same panel with the Shy Guys, but throughout the game you'll run into Mariachi Guys, and they just, like, give the enemies boost and stuff to make them dip more tough to fight, but I don't know. I really like Shy Guys. Shy Guys! World 5 is PD Piranha. This is the World 5 boss. Um, it's like the lava, it's like the jungle level, and then, um, with the jungle guys worshipping the volcano, and then you go into the volcano itself, and PD Piranha's there, and... You fight him. I don't know. PD Prana. Nostalgia. Super Mario Sunshine and stuff. Sorry about that. Uh, my roommates came in. So I needed to pause the video. Uh, and wait until they left again. Uh, I, actually, the only reason I'm even doing Spotlight Saturday today is because... Uh, 
my roommate had to go to the grocery store, so I was like, oh, dude, I'm gonna take advantage of that to, like, do a video real quick, so, uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm doing this, and right now, they, he just went out to eat for a bit, so I'm gonna quickly wrap this up, that's why this video's gonna be a bit shorter than my other spotlight time is, so, yeah, so then, you know, you go up to Bowser's castle, and you fight Bowser, and obviously, you know, he gets huge because he has, like, the royal sticker and shit, so, yeah, um, yes, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, just, um, you know, now for some final thoughts on the game. Okay, so, Paper Mario Sticker Star was not like the other Paper Mario games. Paper Mario, the fr uh, Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door followed, like, the same formula. Super Paper Mario was different. It was more of a, uh, platform, because you had, a uh, platformer, um, like the way the game played out and the boss fights. Paper Mario Sticker Star is a bit of both. It has the action commands and stuff of the first two Paper Mario games, but it has more of the platformer aspect in the way that you play the game itself. And when you stop being salty about the stickers, the lack of partners, and the lack of story, <laughs> Paper Mario Sticker Star is a good game. It has um, really good music. Uh, the game looks beautiful. The gameplay and uh, the gameplay is pretty fun. Um, also, near I don't know. I guess like like I said, if um, the hardest boss fight for me personally was the first boss fight, the Goomba, because I'm I'm dumb, I'm bad. Uh, I didn't use the thing to to fight him. Wait, I'm, I'll just say it now, it's scissors. If you use the scissors to fight the first boss, the Goomba, he's really easy. But I didn't, so he was pretty hard, and I almost lost. But it was a really long boss fight. After that, for the rest of the bosses, I tried, I like, like, thought about it, and I was like, huh, like, what could I possibly do to beat this boss? Like, like, logically speaking, with my knowledge of Mario enemies, and with that, uh, you know, I was able to beat them. I, I was like, oh, Ice World, I better take some fire stuff with me. Yeah, for example. But yeah, you know, um, this game is a ton of fun. Uh, I highly recommend getting it. But, me, I did, uh, at first I was gonna buy it off the eShop, but it was, I don't know if it's gone down in price, but it was like 30 bucks. And then I went to Best Buy and I bought it used for 20. So, I don't know, get it online for 20 bucks or less. It's a, it's a really good game, but not as good as the other ones. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. I honestly did not expect to get this Spotlight Saturday out today, but um, now that I'm like finishing up the recording, I'm glad I, uh, you know, I'm pretty glad that I did. Anyways, um, yes, uh, I have a midterm on Wednesday, so this probably might be my last video until after the midterm. So. Expect new uploads at the latest by next Friday or Saturday. Anyways, thank you all for watching. This has been Don Juan, signing out.